Let's pretend you're a salesman at an aircraft dealership. How would you sell something like the XP55 Ascender? Sir, for mere 3900 Golden Eagles, you will get access to a unique aircraft that will seriously boost your gain of experience in Silver Lions. This is not it. This is an amazing fighter for its mid-BR, which guarantees success and enjoyment in all low-end battles. Nah. You're about to witness one of the most unusual planes ever built. No, damn it! Okay, how about saying that this plane has its propeller at the rear? I mean, prop at the rear. Who needs a Ferrari like doors when you can have a convertible cockpit? The canard, a fancy French word for a duck, arrangement of the plane means that the wing is mounted at the rear of the fuselage, ailerons and rudder are located on the wing, while the elevator is mounted on the nose of the aircraft. It's like as if someone turned this plane back to front. The engine got moved to the back, like on a Porsche or on a less awesome Corvair. The aircraft is perfect for head-on attacks. Your pilot is more likely to die of old age than your engine to catch fire during a head-on. XP-55 simply cannot flutter by achieving lots of speed and coming out easy from a dive. Now, let's take a look at the nose of the aircraft. XP-55 is ready to meet the enemy with 250 cal Browning machine guns and two 20 mm auto cannons. The combined ammo reserve of the gun should be enough to down five to six enemy planes. Now, an inquisitive customer might already be pointing a finger at the screen and asking, <clears throat> excuse me, but what are these two extra gun holes if there are no guns behind them? Now, you can boldly state, you see, these two holes were meant to house two more cannons, but the designers have decided that it would be unfair to have any more guns and refuse to install these weapons. So now these holes are just kind of there to scare off the enemy? Well, you better not tell your client that the aircraft is kind of bad at turning especially when flying below 250 miles per hour. Now, by kind of bad, I mean that, um, well, uh, okay, it turns like a fully loaded B-17. You can be honest and say it this way. What is just At a proper speed, the plane can do miracles in vertical maneuvering. Our test pilots have almost managed to do a forward roll. Oh, and yes, if you get attacked from behind, you can simulate wing flapping to let your enemy overshoot, thus removing the threat from your six. That would be an actual truth, by the way. Then, you will hand over a boring-looking paper to your customer that was written by your dealership's legal department. A waiver stating that the customer is fully aware that the Ascender will constantly be put against such dogfighting legends as I-16s and Zeros. The engine can do just a tad bit over 310 miles per hour when flying in a straight line. The web runs out quick, so you will have to climb first and only then boom and zoom your enemies when possible. The client will sign the paper and will go home happy with his new purchase. While you, you will stay with your now empty hangar, occasionally hearing the familiar quacking, because this weird duck of a plane you just want to have in your collection. It flies, it shoots, and it has a propeller at the rear. We're Thunder Tutorials, signing out.